Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here and we are doing another LibreOffice tutorial. And we've got three things that are kind of intertwined. We have got how to do comments, how to track changes, and a little bit of collaboration. And it was going to be really tough to do them separately as separate tutorials, so I just thought, uh, you know, maybe we'll run a little long and we'll make this uh, kind of a combined tutorial for all three. So hey, let's get started. And once again, I will stick with using the drop-down menus rather than shortcuts and, and, and hotkeys and that sort of thing, so it makes it a little easier for you to follow me. But come on over to Tools, drop down to Options, make sure that your name and initials are put in right here where it says User Data. You can fill out the rest if you want, but be sure that that, is, that line right there is filled in. And the reason for that, LibreOffice will use that to label the changes and comments and that sort of thing. All right, so, so we did that. Let's go and come over to Edit and make sure that Recording Changes, if you look here where it says Track Changes, make sure Recording Changes is checked. Normally it is not checked, but I was just recently making some changes, so it's already checked. Make sure that's checked, and now it will record... Uh, any changes you make. So let's make some changes. We're going to hit enter. We will and let's give ourselves a title. And this is just a blog post that I did some time ago. Uh, but it will work just fine for our training purposes. Okay. So I inserted this title right here and let's uh, let's give it uh, well first as you can see everything that I typed in there it is underlined and in blue and as I hover over it you can see where it says inserted Alex or Isaac date time all that kind of stuff because that is a change that I made they've uh, LibreOffice has just recorded that change so let's come down here highlight this text right here and let's make that sentence italics and as you see not only is it did it make italics uh, but it's also bolded and see now when I hover over it again it says formatted Alex Ryzik blah 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 and that is how it handles or or displays something where you've changed the formatting so those are the first two things and then let's say that uh, let's say we really like what was said right here and let's insert a comment so we click uh, at we, we selected what we want to label and then come down to uh, let me find it I'm used to doing the hotkey so I gotta kinda look a little bit insert comment so as you can see that section that's highlighted boom right there you got that little triangle I guess you could call it and let's just say I like this exclamation mark and in your comments you can go and you can uh, italicize it if you like uh, you could bold it um, you can't do things like changing the type of font or stuff like that, but you know, little little things that would add emphasis to your comments. Yeah, you can do that. And as you can see, my comment right here it has been labeled my name, the date, time, all that kind of stuff. And you could go through in there and you know make more comments and whatnot. So let's say that you know you go through here and you've made some changes and uh, and uh, some edits and some comments and whatnot and then you send a copy to a friend so and, and they're going to go and uh, proofread it for you so let's go and um, and this is just you know like as I said earlier for training purposes we'll come in here and we'll change the name here and so we can pretend this is somebody else and we'll call this uh, 
Johnny Cash. Okay, so now Johnny Cash gets this thing, and he's looking it over. Yeah, but he doesn't really like uh, he doesn't really like that. So he's going to make a comment to the com or a reply to the comment. He's going to say, "I don't know about that." So anyway, that's his reply. And then he could go through and he could go and make changes. You know, and as you can see, it's a different color. Um, and each individual person is going to be a different color. Yeah, so let's say that uh, he wanted that bowl, or I don't know, maybe he, uh, he wants that struck through. So he struck that through, and as you can see, it's green because that's Johnny Cash's color. And then, uh, oh, I don't know, farther down. Maybe he wanted to just insert a word here. And here's an interesting part. Let me, uh, I'll kind of zoom in a little bit so that uh, so that you can see it. You can see that what Johnny Cash inserted, you know, it's right there, and then what he deleted really wasn't deleted. It's still there, but has been struck through. And uh, as they say, there's a method to the madness, which I will show you in just a minute. Okay, so Johnny Cash goes through, he makes a bunch of changes um, and, uh, and whatnot, and then sends a copy back to me. So let's go and change our name back again just so that, uh, so that uh, we can do this right. All right, so let's go and we're going to go through and manage the changes that have been made. So come over to edit again, back down to track changes, and let's go to manage changes. And you can take this little blob, put it over here to the side. Now it'll give you a list of all the changes in the document that have been made. Now, you know, say we're doing dealing with a novel or something like that, you're probably going to have a lot of freaking changes here. So, they have included this neat little filter. So you can go and maybe you just want to find the changes that Johnny Cash made. So you could do that and click that and click Johnny Cash, or maybe you want to find the deletions or just the format changes or that sort of thing so you can use the filters to find stuff that way but let's just go through the list here and we'll start with our insertion and you can see it it highlights the change right there and uh, yeah I like that so we'll click accept and then we can come down here to well you can see it comes off the list now so now we're down to the format change which was this right here and uh, yeah we'll, we'll keep that and now we're to an insertion uh, we're gonna reject that don't like that so we get rid of that insertion which was that comment that we put over here and then uh, and we, we definitely don't like Johnny Cash's comment so we get rid of that and uh, as you can see you know you can just go through one by one and you don't have to go in order you know you could come right on down here to this one at the end and uh, you know so on and so forth all right so we've got our document with all the changes and uh, what I have done let me just show you I saved this as you can see where it says uh, there's the, the original title, and then it's called this version 2. Let's say that we wanted to compare it to our original. So you can come and go back to file again, come down to compare document, and 
you can see there's both of the versions there. Here's our original. We'll open that up. And you can see here it lists all the changes that were made. And we can go and either accept or not accept, you know, accept or reject all these various changes right here. Uh, and as you can see, the, the comments that were made, they're not going to be listed here, but this is just the, the actual changes made to the document. And uh, on that, I think that about finishes things up on, uh, on this tutorial. Um, as always, questions, comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave all that down below. And uh, hopefully I will see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to keep great, getting this great stuff. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks a lot.